North Norfolk on the East Anglian coast, where the rugged cliffs meet the North Sea and the shallow waters hold a secret. A 100 million year old chalk reef, the largest in Europe and home to a wide array of sea life, from the crabs and lobsters the area is known for, unique marine plant life and a whole array of fish and invertebrates. It's a Technicolor underwater garden, but most of the time is completely hidden. Much of the year the water is stirred up by wave action. The natural sediments mix in the water column, creating zero visibility. Brutal northerly storms batter the coast every winter, yet the ecosystem has evolved to deal with the destruction, bouncing back every time. As summer comes around, the weather and the sea become calm, the waters warm, and the sediment drops out to reveal an underwater wonderland just below the surface. The North Norfolk Chalk Reef, also known as Chroma Shoal, covers an area of 320 square kilometres, stretching 10 kilometres out to sea, running from Weybourne in the west to Haysborough in the east. For much of the area, the Chalk Reef is within a stone's throw of the low water tideline and is particularly close to shore at Sheringham. This makes it the perfect place to don a mask and snorkel and explore the reef. In 2016, the area was designated a marine conservation zone and consists of a range of different habitats depending on the topography of the chalk. Some areas are mostly flat with small flints and chalk boulders, an area known as pavement. Much of this is covered with many species of seaweed and colorful encrusting sponges such as this aptly named shredded carrot sponge, dotted around with beadlet anemone and the larger dahlia anemones. Between the chalk there are some expanses of sand, where one can often stumble upon a flounder trying to conceal themselves, or see shore crabs scuttling across the bottom. But the most dramatic underwater scenery here is where the glacial erosion from the last ice age has gouged deep channels through the chalk. One of these inshore areas is known as the gullies at Sheringham. A series of channels and chalk walls, sometimes over six feet high, peppered with holes providing homes for the many crab and lobster and a good base for other various filter feeders. Since the chalk is so soft, the layout can change year on year, with arches being toppled by the rough seas and new holes eroded into the walls to eventually become arches themselves over time. The brown or edible crab caught here are said to be the sweetest in the world, the famed chroma crab. With their characteristic pie crust shell edge, the brown crab is both a predator and a scavenger, but despite the hard shell and fierce pincers, they aren't safe from being predated upon themselves. Here a velvet swimming crab is seen attacking and killing a young brown crab before then eating its victim. European lobster thrive in this environment. They can grow up to two feet in length and live as long as 50 years. One of the main predators on the reef, lobsters tend to feed nocturnally, but occasionally can be seen on the prowl during the day as they hunt their prey of crabs and mollusks. The natural color of live lobsters varies greatly from almost black to bright blue. This helps them blend in with the environment as they are always at risk of being eaten themselves by conger eels, cod, octopus, and seals. Another crustacean found in large numbers here are the common prawns, the clean-up crew of the reef. These little scavengers will feed on any decaying plant or animal matter. Their tiger stripes and banded legs are striking when viewed close up. These seemingly fearless shrimp can live up to five years and are a favourite food source of sea bass and other fish. Rugged gullies also provide good protection for nursery schools of immature fish, 
with plenty of hiding places to dart into if larger predatory fish come looking for an easy meal. Up above in the water column, shoals of small fish, generically known as white bait, shimmer and twist as they swim in unison, sometimes in schools numbering tens of thousands. Safety in numbers from the marauding mackerel that pass through on their migration. Animals that live in the water column are known as pelagic, and this includes the many species of jellyfish that pass over the chalk reef. One of the most beautiful is the lion's main jellyfish. This species has been known to grow over seven feet across, with tentacles 120 feet long. While not fatal to humans, the sting is said to be painful. Another jellyfish species found here, which can also give a nasty sting, is the distinctive and aptly named compass jellyfish. This jellyfish feeds on small fish, crabs, and even other jellyfish. Meanwhile, back on the sea floor, the benthic or bottom-dwelling animals continue the daily battle for the survival of their species. These mating sea hare may look like sea slugs, but they're actually marine snails with a soft, transparent internal shell. They are so named because of their upper tentacles, which resemble hare's ears, and they take on the colour of whatever seaweed they eat. Another unusual looking resident is the snake pipefish, a relative of the seahorse. The pipefish is a slow moving animal, renowned for being a poor swimmer. In 2007, there was a population explosion of pipefish in Norfolk, which resulted in many seabirds that would normally catch sand eels, mistakenly feeding these much longer and bonier fish to their chicks, with disastrous consequences. The chalk reef plays host to many other fish species, including this short-spined sea scorpion, also known as a bullhead or pigfish. An aggressive feeder, it ambushes its prey and is said to eat anything which will fit in its mouth, including fish its own size. European eel can sometimes be seen patrolling the reef. Once a common fish, these are now listed as critically endangered. One of the more charismatic and fearless residents on the reef is the velvet swimming crab, with devil-like bright red eyes, a fine hair velvet coating, and flattened rear legs, this species is a great swimmer and can actually catch fish and prawns. They will happily attack anything they see as a threat and give a nasty nip, so this is one to avoid if you're rock pooling. With England's largest Atlantic grey seal colony just 10 miles west along the coast at Blakeney Point, the seals are often hunting for fish on the chalk reef here. With the males weighing up to 300 kilograms, they can be an imposing creature if they decide to creep up on an unsuspecting snorkeler. Their Latin name means hook-nosed sea pig, which seems a little unkind. They can live for up to 40 years and mostly survive on a diet of fish, although have been known to eat crabs and lobsters. In the 20th century, UK grey seal numbers dropped to around 500, but the population has made an amazing recovery since then, and currently stands at over 120,000 although they are still listed as one of the rarest seal species in the world. The Norfolk coast is littered with many shipwrecks, from the Hiordis on Blakeney Point to the Vera at Cly, the Rosalie at Weybourne and the Ice Poland and SS Commodore at Sheringham. The Commodore was a large steamship carrying coal from Hartlepool that ran aground on the Chalk Reef here in 1896. In the right conditions, much of the wreck emerges from the sand and can be seen in very shallow water at low tide. The metal and wood structure extends east to west and provides protection for the various fish and crustaceans that brave these shallow waters in the surf zone, like this troop of common prawn that were gathered under one of the large sheets of steel hull. The sea life here is resilient. It has to be. Life inshore in the North Sea is ever-changing and unforgiving. This is a tough environment. The blue flag beaches of the Norfolk coast mean that the waters here are largely pollution-free, and by reducing littering on our beaches and keeping the seas clean, we can do our best to protect this precious ecosystem. It may only be visible for a few weeks every year, but it's always there, 
just under the surface, and long may it continue to thrive. <laughs>